So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and the wait is finally over. We have the Zombies trailer for DLC 3 for Black Ops 3. This map is called Gorod Crovy. We're going to play the trailer for you guys right now Then afterwards we're going to go break it down, talk about what we're going to be getting in the map as well as look at the tasty things within this trailer. I am so freaking excited. If you guys are as well, drop the video like rating. Let's get into it. I'll be back very shortly. This city... than its share of pain. It has been witness to horrors that would make most souls question the very concept of humanity itself. It has been known by many names, but I know it as Stalingrad. City of Blood. This should do job. Job of killing. We don't need any fire here, dragon. I do not feel cold. Dempsey, once more for old time's sake. Oorah! Get the season pass now. Four DLC packs, one great price. Now that was only a minute and a half, but oh my goodness was that pack with so much incredible content. Let's go ahead and break this down from the start of the trailer all the way to the end. So the description for this map is that it thrusts us into an alternate universe of Nikolai's motherland, the 1940 Soviet Union, in the next highly anticipated chapter of the origin zombie saga, Gorod Krovi. Players face off against a swarm of mechanized zombie infantry and dodge hellfire from aerial dragon assaults all in the middle of a raging battle within the remnants of Stalingrad. Gorod Krovy delivers the most exciting zombies experience yet filled with horrifying new enemies, exciting new gameplay mechanics and an epic set of zombie annihilating weapons. Now we know all that but let's jump straight from the start of the trailer and then look again and break this down bit by bit. Now within the first frame of this trailer we see a fountain which is called the Children's Korovod. This is installed in the 1930s by the Soviet Union and it is a really famous fountain which you can even see there today in the city of Stalingrad which is now known as Volgograd. Now as you can tell it's from the midst of all-out war and we can just see carnage all over the place and this looks like a much more open zombies map than we've ever had before which is very very exciting. We see one shot here of the middle of the map which we can assume and there's an actual car which says Belinsky Square above it which is extremely interesting that this is so tied into Nikolai's story. We also have a look of the room that we got a teaser image of yesterday which we still don't really have a lot of ideas what this thing even does. It seems Seems to be some sort of supercomputer but the red little thing in the middle makes it seem like it's a heart rate or maybe an incubator perhaps to do with the dragons or this could be something to do with uh, Nikolai and this could be involving his memories we aren't quite sure at this particular point but we know that this room contains the power switch and what is great is there is no buckets needed in this map it's a simple power switch and boom we've got some power. Now in this next section here we see like a room with open windows and suddenly the shutters fall down which could be a new trap mechanic or just something new they've added into zombies where you can actually stop the zombies from spawning and getting in that way by having the shutters fall down, which I think is insane. But the zombies in this map, geez, they just look freaking incredible in detail. And we're going to go and dive in a lot because there's quite a few new zombie types to talk about here. We're in this clip here, we're mowing down zombies coming towards the top of this area with an MG42 on a bipod. I'm unsure if this is the actual MG42 you can get 
get out the mystery box just like you could in World at War or if this is something which is just like a turret that you have to purchase to be able to use with a certain amount of ammo but you can see a different form of zombie crawling up as well and this seems to be a variation of the Panzer Soldat that we got with Indar Eisendrak. Now we'll talk a little bit more when we see more shots of that zombie but we can see behind this shot here we see the zombies running towards us and we can see the quick revive machine faintly there in the background which means that this is going to be the overall starting room area that we're going to start the map in all the time because the quick revive is pretty close to that. Now in Zetsubo Nishima it was a little bit different but you can expect that wherever this location is it could be fairly fairly close to where the spawn room is otherwise it could be the fact we've got random perks on this map and you can just completely forget that fact whatsoever. And in these next shots we can see that this has just been a completely overrun city everything is going crazy in the bottom left we can actually see the mouth of a dragon I can't tell if this is a dragon which has died and has just been left there but you can also see a crashed plane as well as a robot in the background which is extremely interesting because there are multiple robots around this map and we're unsure exactly why they are there they could be very similar to the the reason that they're in Dar Eisendrak where our characters took a robot over to this location or there is some other explanation but they don't seem to have the normal look of the normal German origins robots they seem to have a sort of Russian take and there we get the name of the map Gorod Krovi which translates in Russian to the city of blood which is extremely exciting because it sounds like we're going to be mowing down tons of zombies in this map but there's also that little fact of blood that we've got so far in the storyline where all our characters possess those blood vials this could tie in very very nicely as we get into things and our characters run inside we see a brand new zombie type which seems to be an electrified zombie now we've seen this before the Avogadro in transit but that wasn't an actual physical zombie it was like a weird electrified form almost but this is an actual zombie very bare bones but it's electrified unsure how that's going to affect gameplay probably if it touches you you will get electrified and that probably slow you down perhaps even damage you somewhat and the next shot here we see a huge dragon perched up on a building bursting flames to the ground below and it seems like the dragons have the ability to be able to lock off certain areas by literally burning that entire area we can see a whole swarm of zombies which get literally burnt alive and that area is probably unaccessible for a few rounds and in this next clip we can see again the brand new panzer soldat looking zombie which seems to have a mechanical left arm as well as a sort of hand cannon almost on the right its whole arm is suddenly this huge explosive cannon and we're just unsure exactly how this thing is going to work but it doesn't look like the sort of thing you want to walk up and get in its way now what is extremely interesting is in the next bit here we have our characters running away we see a dragon flying in the sky which is insane and then it seems we have a new dog round this looks very similar to the parasite rounds from shadows of evil but these things i could not explain them if i had my life depending on it it just looks insane this looks like some sort of futuristic robotic flying spider things that seem to have three little pincers with lights on and you can see 115 written on them so this could be some sort of mechanical little robot army that has been created in some way not sure on the purpose of these things but it seems the dog rounds are replaced now with these crazy crazy mechanical robots we see the shield returning but this time it's actually made out of dragon's bones we can see the actual face of the dragon as the main shield thing that you look through which just looks really really epic when you melee with the shield it actually shoots out a weird green gas which actually kills the zombies which is freaking awesome and it just looks really creepy looking there on Nikolai now this bit is really really insane this could be the new specialist ability that you can unlock within each zombies map or this could be something of a item you unlock through an easter egg or in the mystery box but this thing literally gives you a super punch which is insane we've seen this before in origins with a crazy punch but this almost looks like an upgrade to your arm and it literally just flies through the zombies there at a crazy crazy pace and on the left there just before we punch the zombie you can see the wonder fizz machine there so the wonder fizz machine is back which is freaking awesome this next shot we make our way inside a building and we act Activate a brand new trap which is very similar to the flinger from call of the dead but rather than flinging you it actually flings the zombies across the sky which is freaking awesome this next shot we see the nx shadow claw dual wield which means more dlc weapons from black ops 3 multiplayer are going to be making their way in which is absolutely fantastic thank you so much treyarch this next clip we have something that flies down from the sky and it seems to damage the zombies quite a bit i can't tell exactly what this thing is this could be something which helps us or 
something where the little robotic rounds the thing actually comes out of this little weird crate I can't quite tell but either way it seems to electrocute the zombies and attract them which is a great thing and then oh my god when we spin the mystery box right here not only do we get probably the most requested weapon ever from zombies returning we get a glimpse of something that looks very very different this looks like a ray gun mark 3 now we can't confirm if this is the ray gun mark 3 because we just don't have any information right now but it definitely looks like a ray gun to me but guys the ppsh is back in zombies i just can't believe it if you are hyped like i am smash the like button for the ppsh oh man i just really wish that they'd done it because of the russian setting and they just went and done it i can't believe this is so freaking exciting we even have dempsey going all right dempsey one more time for old time's sake which is just a huge throwback to world at war right there now after that we just get a shot of this gigantic dragon this is absolutely huge and this is going to be very very important when it comes to this map because in dlc 2 there was a little easter egg which actually explained the fact that dragons were growing and it was a thing between group 935 and division 9 to create a saddle which could control the dragons and we 100 will be flying and controlling these dragons within this map which is so so exciting but apart from that that is all we have so far for this brand new zombies map this looks just absolutely mind blowing i can't wait to see more and this will be available on playstation 4 tuesday the 12th of july first on playstation 4 if you've got the season pass so you can buy the dlc but my goodness i'm just so so hyped for this guys if you are as well drop the video a like rating i'll be bringing multiple videos talking about this map for you guys today and tomorrow and over the next week as we lead up to the release and you can expect to see gameplay here first on my channel as well so if you're not already make sure to subscribe but thank you for watching i'll catch another video soon i'll catch another video soon.